Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on circle graphs and tangents. So in this video we'll cover the basics of circle graphs and then we'll look at how to find the equation of a tangent to a circle. Uh, so first of all, what's a circle graph? Uh, well it's a graph in the shape of a circle, believe it or not. Uh, but they have the general form x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So r is the radius of the circle centered around the origin 0, 0, so that's there. Uh, so if we look at this example here, uh, we can see that this has a radius of 4. Uh, so the equation could be written as x squared plus y squared equals 4 squared, or we could write this as x squared plus y squared equals 16. So now let's look at finding the equation of a tangent to the circle. So in this example, we have to find the equation of the tangent to the circle defined by x squared plus y squared equals 25 at the point 3, 4, as shown on the axes below. So there's a lot to take in here. Uh, but first of all, uh, this equation, x squared plus y squared equals 25, uh, well, if you remember, the general form x squared plus y squared equals r squared was the equation of a circle. So that means r squared is 25. So we can say that r equals 5. Uh, so in this uh, graph here, that's this blue line here. So that's a radius of 5. Uh, so next, uh, in order to find the equation of a tangent, the first thing we have to do is find the equation of the radius. Uh, so we'll use the point 3, 4 to do this. So the first thing we're going to look at finding is the gradient. So to find the gradient, uh, we need to find the change in y and divide it by the change in x. So uh, the change in y, if we use the point 3, 4, is obviously 4, and the change in x is 3. Uh, so therefore the gradient of the radius, so we'll call it gradient r for short, is 4 divided by 3. Uh, now, uh, in order to find the equation of a tangent, we need to know a couple of things. First of all, a tangent is perpendicular to a radius. So that's one of our circle rules. Uh, there's a separate video on them if you're not sure. Uh, the other rule we need to know is that uh, lines that are perpendicular have gradients that multiply to give minus 1. So if we combine these rules, that means that the gradient of the tangent is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the radius. Uh, so uh, minus 1 divided by 4 over 3 is going to give us the gradient of the tangent. And if you do that, that comes out as minus 3 over 4. So in terms of our equation then for the tangent, we want it to be in the form y equals mx plus c, that's the general form for a straight line. Uh, and so far we've got the gradient, uh, so that's the value of m. So now we need to work out c uh, using our y and x values, which is the coordinate 3, 4. So let's plug those into the equation. Uh, so we have 4, that's the y value, equals m, which is minus 3 quarters, times x, which is 3, and then we add the plus c on the end. Uh, so uh, if we just work this out here, we get 4 equals minus 9 over 4 plus c. Uh, now I'll bring these workings up to here uh, just because there's a bit more space. Uh, so if we solve this equation for c, we get that c is 4 plus 9 over 4, uh, which if you work that out, it comes out as 25 over 4. So therefore the equation of the tangent to the circle uh, at the point 3, 4 is going to be uh, y equals minus 3 quarters of x plus 25 over 4. So if you're feeling ready to tackle some circle graphs and tangent questions, then you can have a go at our online exam. Uh, it's available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions and a variety of different question types. Uh, so you get instant feedback on each and every one of them, which is really useful for keeping track of the areas that you need to improve at. Uh, so if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.